Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Amisha, and if you want to see how I achieve this cute, sleek, fluffy ponytail, keep on watching. So to do this ponytail, you will need water, your choice of gel, a bristle brush, white tooth comb, rat tail comb, and a diamond brush. Your choice of hair. Here I'm using the Free Trust Crochet Hair in Google Curl and Beach Curl and also Hair Ties. Now to start, I decided to do a side part. So I'm going to head and map out my parting. Then I'm going to section my hair off into smaller, more manageable sections. Now beginning with the back, I'm going to spritz that with some water and work that through. And my hair felt pretty dry actually, so I'm going to use some hair milk by my L Organics just to add some moisture into it. Then I'm going to take my white tooth comb to detangle it a little bit more and then smooth and detangle a little bit further with my diamond brush. And now I'm going in with the gel. I decided to use the Eco Style Super Protein, which is my absolute favorite Eco Styler, but I decided to use that. And I'm focusing that mainly onto my roots because that's the part that I need to be the most flat. Then I'm going to go in with my Dimming Brush to smooth it all in and get it pretty much as flat as possible. Then just use a hair tie to put it away. Then I just follow those same steps on my next section. So I spritz it with some water, going with the hair milk since my hair is so dry, detangle with my white tooth comb, smooth with my diamond brush, put the gel in, and then smooth again to lay it down with the diamond brush again. And I literally just repeat the same step all over my head in small sections. Working in small sections seems to be the easiest for me since my hair is so thick. But if you don't have hair that's as thick as mine, you probably don't need to separate it as much. Now that I got the gel through all of my hair, I'm just showing you what the back looked like. And I did want to make sure that I got any parts from the sections out. And then just brush my hair all together into a low little ponytail. Then to smooth the top of my head because I didn't want it to be as wavy as it was, I took the bristle brush and just made sure that I smoothed it as much as I could. I did realize that it didn't take all of the waves out of my head because I really didn't want any, but it definitely um, reduced it, so I was okay with it. But I basically just made sure that my hair was as flat as I possibly could get it and just made sure that it was as smooth as it could be with the bristle brush. And as you can see now, my hair is nice and slicked back. Then I just take a hair tie, put my hair in a ponytail, And I actually ended up liking this look. This is a little bit of a look with just my natural hair. <laughs> but we're gonna add hair today. So I took the back part, put it in two, twisted it around each other, and just basically put another hair tie around it to create a little bun, or as small of a bun that I could get. And then I went in with my edges brush and the same gel, which was again the Super Protein by Eco Style. And I just went ahead and laid my edges. All 
All right, once that was laid, I went ahead and tied a scarf for my head just to make sure that it dries flat and in place. And while I had the scarf in my head, I went ahead and got my hair ready. So I'm starting off with Beach Curl 12 inches by Free Tress. And what I do is I take the section, or I took the section, put it into a hair tie. So basically I just loop the hair tie around the hair. Then I went through and basically just combed out or separated the curls in the hair because I didn't want the hair to be as neat as it was. I wanted it to be a little wild and with more volume. So I eventually went ahead and took a wide tooth comb and just brushed it through, or should I say combed it through. Then I decided that I was gonna take the other hair that I had and actually just use that with the beach curl and this other hair is the Google curl. So I did the same thing. I detangled it and separated the curl and combed it through with the white tooth comb. And then what I basically did was split both of the hairs into two sections. Then I took one section from each and put it together. And then just did that same loop thing with the hair tie around it. So basically, I had two sets of hair and both of them was half of each pack. And I decided to do it that way just because I wanted it really thick. I didn't want a thin ponytail. All right, so now that I have my two, I go ahead and take one, wrap the hair tie around my bun, and I made that as like the bottom section. And then I took the other one and wrapped that around my bun as well and basically put that on top. And I liked it to be that full as well, just so I made sure that it covered my actual bun because I did not want that to show whatsoever. So here I'm just kind of fixing it and adjusting it. I did decide that I wanted it a little bigger. So I went back in with my white tooth comb to brush it out a little bit more. Then I took a small section from the back of my head and wrapped that around the base of the ponytail. And then I just went in with some scissors to shape it a little better. Now I am horrible when it comes to cutting, so I tried my best. Um, so yeah, I just went through and cut small sections to kind of get the look that I was looking for. And that's pretty much it. That's how I got this nice, cute, fluffy ponytail. So thank you for watching my video. I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.